It is its own thing that I have never tasted before. Today, we're going to try haggis. Have I ever had haggis before? You asked many times. I've had it on a few, few occasions as well. The one that I had was not a good experience, but then it wasn't a good haggis from what I understand. I have never had haggis before. I've never even heard of it until like last month. No, no. I've never had legitimate haggis before. This is a first for me. I've never even had fake haggis. All right. <laughs> Yes, I have also had haggis before. I am actually a veteran of the competitive haggis eating competition. I don't know what haggis is made of. I assume it's made of edible animal parts, but <laughs> I'm not too sure of that either. I have a small understanding of what it was, what's in it. Sheep, sheep guts with spices and oatmeal wrapped up in a oatmeal. lovely, lovely little sheep case. Looks like a praying mantis cocoon. Uh, the other parts that nobody else eats, from what I understand. It is the intestines of sheep, lamb, other animals, wrapped in stomach, baked. It's it's basically just oats, meat, seasonings, and then, you know, it's all uh, boiled inside of a, a casing of one sort or another. Uh, I'm getting a stomach ache already. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to eat it, and I don't want to think about that too much. I think I'm really going to like it. I'm hoping that this will be a better haggis than what I had before. I'm a carnivore, so I'm hoping it just because there's meat in it, I'll love it. <laughs> it would be a new experience for me. I'm really hoping. I love the barbecue. I love eating all kinds of meat, so I'm hoping I do like it. I have a very strong gag reflex. Like, once I think I don't like anything, I can't, like, contain it. So I, see. I have to like this, or, or I'm going to... Yeah, aim that way. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh, fancy feast. Mm -hmm. It looks like dog food. It, yeah, actually, kind of resembles dog food. It looks like it smells very similar to Science Diet canned dog food. I don't know what would Gordon Ramsay think of this presentation. It's got quite a bit of oats in there. It smells pretty good. I don't know, but I'm sure he'd throw a in here somewhere. <laughs> Not that hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look that bad, really. It looks so oh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely smells spicy. There's no jiggle. <laughs> it it yeah. looks like a meaty oatmeal mixture. It smells pretty good. Yeah. I'm I'm ready to dive in. Oh, you're going for that first. I need to prep the palate. Just trying to smell that and get the <laughs> scent of that out of there. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna have it a touch. <gasps> oh my God! Let's start with this. Yeah. Is it too early to drink? No, Good. it's never too early to drink. Not when you're eating haggis. Since it's only nine o'clock, are we capped at just one serving of, uh, of scotch or uh, can I go in for seconds? See, I'm, I'm enticed to try the haggis now because that tasted so bad. One for the money, two for the show. Okay, just do it. Ready? Yep. It's Lanja. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no. Oh, it's pretty crumbly. Yeah, it just usually crumbles apart. I think it's pretty good, actually. Kind of like meatloaf? Because of the onions, maybe? Yeah. Yeah? And the grains in it, they're very, uh, very pronounced. It's got kind of a dense, like an oody taste. It's so weird to chew because it's like not a solid. Hmm. That's actually not bad. Let's let's let's, let's uh, have the haggis drink a little. Enjoy some Ooh, first. Hmm. Hmm. I think I like that with the adding that to the top of yeah. it now. I think that adds a little it, little something something it, extra it, to it. It kind of brings stuff out. Mm-hmm. I like the onion. I like the the spice. I like. It's just, it's just good. Yeah, Emily, not calling it's out anybody It's not that weird, America. It's pretty good. Yep. Oh, that was hard to swallow. <laughs> like, the meat doesn't have much of a flavor. I guess that's what liver is, just flavorless meat. I'm getting that nice lung aftertaste. That's, that's settling really well. More oniony version of Scrapple. It's like Scrapple with chewy Rice Krispies in it. 
I think the uh, the Scrapple analogy yeah. would be would be no, the closest. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's more. This is like a hamburger. I, I actually like the spices in it. I don't. I know. still can't pick off what they are. The smell is definitely in a different realm from the taste. Yeah, it's like two separate things. Yeah. I was not expecting to um, to like it at all. I wouldn't not eat it. I would totally eat this all the time. Yeah, I think this. Is I, I I'm I'm enjoying this. Compliments to the chef and the sheep. Very delicious. And would you eat this again? Um, could well, you put more on the plate. Plate empty. I could eat this every day. I would definitely eat it again. <laughs> if any of you guys want to send some practice haggises or haggai my way. It would be one of those things I think everyone should try at least once, just to try and have that experience. Absolutely. Big yes, absolute recommend. Always try new things. It wasn't bad. No. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. <laughs> it can't hurt if you want to experience your culture. It's definitely um, top of the chain for food pieces, I think, in uh, terms of Scottish foods. It's Try something new. It's It sounds weirder when you talk about the constituent parts, yeah. but just like anything else, when it's all together, it tastes good. I kept it down, and I, for one, am proud of it. <laughs> looks like an alien egg pod. It is so weird looking, and that's what <laughs> terrified me the most coming in here, is seeing that big blob.